All right, Jake, what do we do now? Shuttle us off to Mindanao. We're home alone for a couple of days, maybe two, three weeks. What else are you doing? That one actually went into lockdown. This small barangay or municipality. Two week lockdown. Some COVID here. So we gotta be extra careful. We still have the ocean. We still have uh, some activities we can do. But we're extremely limited. We're almost like we're back in uh, Cebu or something. But uh, not as extreme. We still do some things, Jake. So let's go. Let's go pick up our gear. Pure Vida and some tanks and maybe we we'll do some uh, diving. Up, up. Underduck. Yeah, that, under that is Underduck. Yeah. He's a guapo Underduck. You're recording that? You're guapo. Yeah. 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 Any flight? Welcome to my channel. My name Bye. is Shut down, shut down. Bye. 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 <laughs> Jake, they actually knew you. The underdog. Have you guys seen the movie Underdog? It's like a big old movie star. Who was it the other day in lockdown? <laughs> Jake, the underdog. Give the dog your food. Ah! Hello, good morning, thank you. Is there a typhoon coming? Yes! Really? Yeah. Where did it form? So just the typhoon started just around here? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so no diving. I should not. Uh, I advise you not yeah. To do nice okay, okay, okay. Tomorrow morning. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Whoa, that's strange. Jake, there's a typhoon coming. Five o'clock. I don't think we can. Well, we can do like a three p.m. dive, but not five p.m. All right, so we made it to Pure Vida. I'm not sure if I showed you this part of the resort. These cool Nipa houses. And the garden, so nice. It's like the California palm tree over there. Very nice. So I didn't bring my diving gear. I'm not gonna do any scuba dive. The clouds are becoming really dark. And apparently five o'clock today is uh, strength one, which is the lowest, but at least is a category of a typhoon. So it might be quite big. So we're just gonna go back. Maybe with that tomorrow, but we're gonna monitor it later on today. So, uh, in a couple of hours, I'll see you guys there and show you guys the conditions. Oh my god, what's going on? Whoa! That's crazy! <laughs> Oh, the rain just came in, it's blowing straight at here. I don't even see how good it's like, holy moly, Jake. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It just came. Ulan. Ulan is here. Free shower, guys. Free shower. <laughs> okay. Okay, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh my god! It's a motor! Motor! Let's get inside! Wow! This has to be the craziest rain I've ever seen! Let's check out the river! Nothing much right now, but I bet soon this is gonna flood like crazy. This is why I didn't go diving. Woo! Wow, you can barely see the ocean here. That's crazy! Oh, 
kids like to play. It's awesome. Check out the river now. Not too much, but I bet a couple of minutes it's going to get high. Whoa, look at this guys. This big tree just fell. Acacia? Yeah. That's a cassia tree. Coconuts, if there's any coconuts I found out. There's loads of them here. just came back inside and Jake we have a brown out again no electricity it's brown out I, I'm a, honestly not surprised and I just started cooking some chicken so nope no chicken for a while <laughs> let's see how long this brown is gonna be I don't know if you could see it earlier but the wind and the rain came all the way from there Boom, and to the door and inside. That's how fast the wind was. Like a vertical of rain. But I calmed down a bit. I'm expecting more rainfalls. And the river is holding up good. <laughs> no electricity, that's all right. Just gonna enjoy it. That was fun. I just I put the chicken into the oven for like 10 minutes. But now I've got to seal it up and put it into the fridge that's out of uh, electricity. Well, 
This rain ain't no joke, Jack. Okay, I made it to down proper. I was gonna check out if any of the restaurants are open and they seem to be closed. Even my bar, Finn Bar. Oh, Finn Bar is closed. Oh, ay, 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 Jake. No, 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 no. Come inside. Stop, stop opening the window. Stop it. Stop it. It's gonna rain. <laughs> Clever duck. Let's see if uh, Pure Vida is open. I'm starving. It's five. Yeah. Me and Jake made it to Pura Vida and they're open like this one. Check out the ocean up. This is crazy. Never seen the waves like this before here. <laughs> 7 p.m. Pitch black still brought up. <laughs> See you in the morning. Hey! Electricity is back on, Jake. Yeah. You wanna go pee now? I hope the chicken is good. It's been in the fridge for, what, 24 hours? Hope that's all right. Stuff's been flying. What's this? That's Jake's pee spot. He always goes to the mud over here. Myron Buntak. Are you guys fixing the roof? Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Let's get some breakfast, Jake. Let's eat now. We are out here with Sea Explorers exploring a new dive site. We got a hint from one of the guests at Pura Vida the other day where they actually have a beach house. So there's a small cove. I'll put a map up here so you can see what I'm talking about. There's a small cove near Turtle Island that I've been to but we have never dove there. There's like a two coral arches coming into an area where there's a stream. And in between, there's like no corals, only sand, mucky area. And that's where we're gonna go into and try to uh, find some critters. No name for this dive site, so it's a pure exploration. Very excited for that. Where'd it go, Justin? I don't know about you, but I'm about to film an octopus. <laughs> and you're gonna be super jealous. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here we are at a brand new dive site and one of the privileges we have here diving with sea explorers we're able to go to new places that we never or they have never been to before and it shouldn't be a surprise here we got the first critter and probably only critter on this dive that was new to me and it's called tamja nudibrach and the crazy thing about this one he is not in my scientific books there's no picture of him but there are many that are similar in shape and form However, the color and the size is different. And that means this could possibly be a new species. Think about it guys, finding a freaking new species. And not only did he have different color from everything in the books, he was also much bigger than the largest recorded sizes that have been found before. Maybe a new species, who knows. And all of the rest of the creatures we found here, it wasn't that special dive site, but that's just part of exploring. Only we found the common things that we've seen before. So here's what we found.
Not the greatest dive, but we saw a couple of beautiful nudie breaks, of course. And my favorite part was probably just the white, vast, sandy bottom area. And then we got up to the wall about 25 meters. And uh, yeah, saw a couple of nudies. That was it. I got some awesome leaf sheep. And I've been filming them way too many in my episodes, but I found the one that we haven't normally seen with the little spikes and stuff. So I think I got some good footage of that. Besides that, it was not a lot of critters. Yeah, so-so dives. Didn't see much, but that's part of exploration. All good. We're gonna go get some uh, dinner, then we'll probably continue the video tomorrow. I want to end off the video by saying thank you guys for the love, support and understanding from my last video. I wasn't sure what kind of response I would get for sharing my thoughts, but I was overwhelmed. Everything I say on the internet can be misinterpreted, like saying my goals and my dreams are just based around me. But of course, it's not just my dreams, it's our dreams. On a final note by Jacuz Kostu, the sea the great unifier is man's only hope. Now as never before, the old phrase has little meaning, we are all in the same boat.